Excellent. In this video, we'll have a look on uh, some of the new layout capabilities which we are introducing for Microsoft Viva and Microsoft Viva Connection, especially as part of the SharePoint Framework 1.18. So we kind of introduce some new layouts. And with me here is, um, well, first of all, I'm Manuel Sesu, uh, I'm a principal product manager in the Microsoft 365 area. And with me here is Alex, who's one of the creators of this feature, right? Yep. Or the creator of this feature, uh, to be precise, uh, I guess. <laughs> well, it, it, it's a team effort as always. <laughs> Absolutely, it's always a team effort. There's a PM people and then there's developers, but you are on the software development side. But Alex, can you quickly explain what, what is the new feature? What are we providing for Viva Connection? Yeah, so with the new 118 release of SPFX, we are providing more flexibility for uh, card views in Viva Connections. So developers uh, will not be like focusing on templates so much, but on the components that they can display in their cards. And uh, in addition to that, we are introducing new text input component that can be placed in the, in the card view. Uh, another feature that is kind of evolvement of this uh, idea is a search card template that is basically uh, focused on different search scenarios like people search or document search. So, we are providing you a template in the generator uh, that will like simplify creation of these uh, search cards. Yes, absolutely. And and in the in the past, we've been basically the reason why I'm actually taking my phone here is I'm going to do a quick example. So typically, dashboard using a mobile phone. Uh, of course, you can access the dashboard directly in the desktop as well. But it's it's actually pretty cool that you can access the information directly in here uh, and stay up to date wherever you are. Um, and to be in the past, before 1.18, we've been only having like three different card layouts. So for the initial view in here, and, and they've been locked. But now we're basically saying that we're opening up that to be about the components. What does the, am I then creating the card layout with a small set of components, or what does it actually mean? So we are still in charge of uh, like, possibilities or permutations that we allow. Uh, yeah. So it's not like you can create any kind of component and uh, place it in the uh, in the card. Uh, we are providing you with a set of components and, and we are uh, forcing the rules which components can be placed together on the card. So it's still not so far from what we had before. We will still have like basic uh, card, uh, primary text card, image text card. But in addition to that, uh, we now can say like, hey, in a basic card, I want uh, to place text input in the footer instead of like buttons, instead of actions. Or I can like mix and match and have text and text input and the buttons. So it's more flo flexible, still more flexible for the developers. So it provides more, and, and of course that provides more engaging dashboards for the mobile and desktop and more layout options. And, and there's going to be so many more options on the layouts in the future, but let's talk about that one in uh, after the live demo. So let's let's actually jump on your screen and see this one in practice. I, I guess it's easier to understand what are we having um, when we see it live. So here I have uh, the like actual Viva dashboard on uh, my demo tenant. And uh, as you can see the like, Top row, we have three new uh, cards here. One is for movie survey, another one technical support chat, uh, and the last one is people search. All these are based on these uh, new uh, capabilities, new components. So here uh, I have a text input in the body. In this card, I have text input in the uh, footer. And this one is based on the new uh, search card template that is specific for focused on uh, search uh, scenarios. And uh, what is good about like all of this uh, features uh, like from the text input from search box, you're expecting that uh, the user can type something in and you as a developer, you can handle this, uh, you can get the result and do something based on that. So for example, if I uh, in type uh, Alex in the search box, I click search, I have the quick view, I have the same Alex in here, and that is basically the uh, code behind uh, works for like communicating between card view and the uh, quick view. And we are getting the results for the Alex for the search box that uh, search query uh, that I provided. Uh, same basically here, if we want to start the conversation, uh, I can type test, I click send, and uh, in that case, I just 
opening the teams. I have pre-configured person with, he, with whom I want to start the chat. And uh, as you can see, we have this test in here. So basically we were in the dashboard, but we can start the conversation directly in Teams uh, using this uh, new uh, functionality. For the movie survey, it's uh, just a, a more demo uh, mock uh, scenario. In that case, uh, I'm doing nothing. Let's say like Harry Potter here, uh, submit and it just thank you for the submitting the response uh, but uh, you can add the logic basically to uh, post this information to the list or to the database and so on and so forth yeah so so let's recap on on all of this let's start with the people search so first of all i can say the suggested uh, item there uh, is that some sort of a you can control probably what i'm what is being listed there yes so uh search card contains basically of uh let's say two components. One is the search box itself, and the second one is uh, the search footer. In the search footer, uh, you can provide whatever information you want. You are in charge of the label. In my case, it suggests that you're in charge of information uh, displayed in the footer. So in my case, it's an example or tutorial for uh, people search, but you can use the same, for example, for documents. And in that case, in, uh, instead of like an avatar, you will display, I don't know, maybe the uh, icon of the uh, application where to open the document like PDF, Word, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you may have the title of the document and uh, creation date as a secondary text, this kind of stuff. So everything is uh, in control by the developer. Can I can I have multiple ones there? And uh, that would kind of break the layout, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, unfortunately only one can be placed there. Okay. okay, but that could be, for example, your manager or something who you work closely with yes. um, depending on the scenario absolutely or the primary conduct for the help desk uh, for example or something else uh, which is uh, the the most uh, easily available um, yeah. this is clearly a developed uh, a demo tenant I can say that that's really cool yeah now, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now on the on the technical uh, support chat and this is just to recap on what you showed there so we can basically redirect directly for example that's that's your custom code which is redirecting to the team's chat but it's yes, up to the, the developer to decide whatever you want to do when you click a button you could show quick car view you could redirect people to somewhere else you can do uh, whatever comes to your mind is that the case yeah, it's basically the same as we used before. So, for example, for a submit button and developers already got used to it, you can assign some uh, action to the button. Same scenario is applicable and same code is applicable here. So for this kind of uh, buttons, there are still buttons, there are still actions. So developer can provide uh, like external link, uh, quick view, action submit, uh, show location, et cetera, et cetera. So all the actions that are available for adaptive card extensions, they're basically available for these uh, actions as well. And uh, actually this is even applicable for this uh, footer here. So in my case, uh, I'm opening a quick view, right? But again, you can just open the external link and uh, navigate to the user's profile or like actual documents or whatever. Whatever is the use case, absolutely. Now on the yep. movie survey, uh, the, that's a simple example of us collecting input from the uh, end users. Now the logical question which will come up immediately when somebody says this is that, okay, can I do choices? Can I do graphical elements? Can I do other question type of things? And the answer I guess right now is unfortunately no. Uh, unfortunately, no, I would suggest for this one, we uh, have not submit, but some other uh, text in the button and open quick view for the more uh, like rich surveys. Yep. But uh, we are looking into providing uh, more components and more flexibility in our card use as well in future. Absolutely, absolutely. And that might be maybe in 1.18 whenever that she had or maybe 1.19 or whatever. So we'll, we'll see whenever we will introduce additional layouts. Now, how does this look from a code perspective if we do uh, if you have code open? Yeah. So, and uh, I'll focus mostly on the uh, card view because this is basically what we changed and what we promoted the new way to configure uh, the uh, card view. So, uh, previously, before 118, what a developer needed to provide is um, data getter 
where uh, he can define like what uh, like primary text, basic text, uh, this kind of stuff uh, he or she wants to display on the card. Plus uh, another getter is for card buttons, where a developer uh, defines all the buttons that will be uh, available for the card view. Uh, now we are promoting new way to configure the uh, compo the card view based on components. And first of all, we have this new base components card view uh, base class, and all new cards will be extended from this uh, base class. And instead of having multiple getters or multiple properties, now developers will need to override these uh, card view parameters getter that basically defines the whole structure of the uh, card view, of the layout of the card view. So uh, what will be displayed in the header, in the footer, in the body, and also the uh, properties or like data of uh, like what the data should be displayed in this component. So if you think about it, it's pretty similar to like um, either property pane that we have in uh, web parts and uh, adaptive card extensions, or in general, it's pretty similar to how we define the properties for React component. And in my case, I have some uh, extra code here to basically collect information about the suggested user, uh, like job title, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end, I want to display search card view, and we are providing uh, some helper classes that allows you to not like put a lot of JSON, a lot of properties uh, in your code, but be as minimal as possible. And here I am defining the, defining the layout of the card. So I have card bar, which is like icon and uh, title. I have a header with uh, my text basically for the search. In the body, I have search box. I can provide placeholder. I can provide uh, ID for the search box. I'm providing how my button should look and what uh, the basically not how it should look. We control how it look for how it looks for a search template. But uh, you're defining the action as we discussed, so it can be any action available in the adaptive card extensions. And for the footer, this is where uh, I'm creating this uh, suggested footer with uh, uh, text, secondary text, image URL, and as you can see, it's not tied to um, to a person or to people search. Uh, you can just provide text like uh, my awesome document, secondary text, uh, modified date, and work with or display information about the uh, documents itself uh, as well. So this is the new way how you define the uh, templates, basically how you define card views. Uh, if we look at Another example, and this one is for a uh, survey. So again, I have the same base component card view as a base class here, uh, but instead of search card, I'm using text input card view, uh, but the idea is uh, the same. Basically, I need to provide the layout, uh, what exactly I want to uh, display in the, in the card view. Really cool, and that's that's super cool that we're providing that structure more efficiently directly within the code, rather than, Assuming that people re will read the documentation and JSON schemas and all of that, it's basically defined uh, in the code. Um, should be easier for developers, right? Yes, yes. And uh, we are providing IntelliSense, we are providing type checking, so uh, developers will not be able to break themselves. Uh, so it's, it's, it's pretty, we, we have forced uh, a lot of type checking for developers. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So reducing the probability of uh, unfortunate bugs and mistakes within the code, which is always good. Really, really cool. Uh, this is awesome stuff. Excellent. So that that's kind of a recapping on what's in 1.18 point, uh, whatever the 1.18 beta. Uh, so which is going to go out uh, or is out as part of this announcement where, where when we release the video, this video as well. Now, are we expecting to have still more layout options in 1.18, uh, or are we looking into having those in the subsequent? Uh, versions? Uh, most probably it will be in uh, subsequent versions. So for now, we want to uh, check on the adoption of what we are providing right now. So for the search scenario and for text input, uh, we want, of course, to collect feedback. What else uh, is important? What other components potentially we can uh, promote in future? And uh, yeah, based on that, we'll be looking into the uh, new components, new templates, and uh, new lay layouts.
Yeah, and I can probably tell it, tell it, say in general we're looking into having much more flexibility and more layouts, but we're not looking into opening up the card view completely. We want to no. control the card view because that is, that is actually a performance uh, uh, consideration there. But if we provide a sufficient amount of flexibility within the layouts, then customers and partners can make beautiful looking dashboards for mobile and, and for desktop as well. Yep, yep, that's true. Absolutely, uh, that's awesome. So thank you, uh, really, really great. Uh, great to have a chat with you, Alex, and thank you for showcasing what's available. All of the samples, what you showed, uh, are also available as open source samples within a GitHub, and we'll have a reference for them within the, uh, within the video notes as well. But thank you, Alex, for this one. Really, really cool. Thank you, Vesa, for having me.